Let's see if this is set up right. So, well, adjustment. Bear with me. The wonders of live. That seems better. Hello, everyone. Always testing to make sure this is working. Check one, two. Hello, hello. I'm the right guy. Yeah. I always have to do some sound to see. So, um, hello, everyone. Just a live update on things. Um, just doing some electrets tonight, specifically one. I've got it over here. I don't know if you can see that. Probably not. I'll try and there we go. So what I got going on here is this is the cell that I put in the oven for about half an hour. So now I'm pulsing it with a bedini. It's still a little, yeah, it's still. Um, still warm so it's going to take probably an hour or so so i'm just pulsing it with the bedini so we'll see as conditioning it as an electrode once the peg electrolyte gets hard again what that's going to do and over here is still my little leg here and the other piezo quartz cell that i've been testing let's see here Still over two volts, which is pretty good. So yeah, I'm going to talk over the Bedini motor, if you're hearing that. My apologies tonight. It's just, it's pretty noisy with the fan. I know that. But I want to pulse it this way, you see, to see what's happening. And a little bit of a sideline, I installed my spectrum analyzer on the computer. And you can see up on the television screen here. I'll try and zoom into this a bit right over here and that's the spectral analysis i've got it on the low band right now and i've got this um scalar coil here canceling field so i can monitor and this is the dongle here for the spectrum analyzer it's an MSI SDR pen adapter, USB. So I put this near my cells because if there's any strange scalar activity or anything else nearby, I can monitor it with the spectral analysis, which from the TV screen here, 500 hertz to 4.4 um okay so 3.5 being the center and you can see little um here would be all of the interesting peaks to see if there's something going on here so the idea is most of these are canceled so they're all um, minimal but if there's something strong that comes in suddenly, it could be of a scalar nature. So it would show up very, um, very um, pronounced in the diagram here. So this is what we're doing tonight. I can try different frequency ranges here. Let's try. Um, Just bear with me, I'm trying to find another band. It'd be 23 megahertz. This would be closer to CB band, right over here, but it gives you um, ideas of 
right now that in the middle is the local oscillator of the spectrum analyzer so we got to ignore that one it's just one of the nuances with uh, using sdrs uh, probably if i fiddle around with the settings i can filter that out usually the um, programs have that feature but it all varies depending on um, what sdr unit you're running so I'm just interested on the sides here. And I can tell it's pretty stable on that band. There's nothing intermittent or nothing going on. So I'm looking more into the very low frequencies right now. But the microwaves could be interesting too, especially near the hydrogen frequency. So let's see. mode one so I'm very very low band right now so the high end would be a 30 I think if the scale is right, I think that would be 30K at the end and zero in the middle. Let's see what happens if I move this coil around near the Bedini motor here. Oops. The joys of being live. Not a peak. And above my cells. No, nope, nothing right now. Sometimes it's also the challenge of finding out what frequency ranges that there might be potential interactions, you know. As you can see, I can scan a pretty wide chunk at a time, but it's far from being a complete spectral analysis. I have to gradually move the bands around. So let's see if anybody's on. I didn't miss anything. I don't like it when people uh, talk and then it looks like I ignore them. So this is basically it to tonight. And I will just wrap it up and uh, just wanted to say hello to everyone and show you what I was up to tonight. And have yourselves all a, rest, a good rest of day or night, whatever it might be.